begin to magnify him the one that has the ability uh, the one that has the capacity the one that can help us the one that does not fail he is the same yesterday today and forevermore let the almighty god hear your voice of appreciation let the one that does wonder hear your voice of praise this morning lord we reverence you baba we magnify your name makando pale pale post on aya ah that they will bless you lord faithful god the one that have been with us right from monday magnify him makush and the reason why we are gathered, Baba, we bless your name. Makundo Koshkara, the ancient of days, we adore you. Likanto Mahar Glory be to your holy name. Glory be to your holy name. Thank you, everlasting Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we have given praise. You are the reason why we have gathered Jehovah. You are the most high God. You are the reason why we are gathered Jehovah. You are the most high God. Lord Jesus. You are the most high God. My Redeemer, you are the most high God, Lord of Lords, you are the most high God, Jehovah, you are the most high God, Jehovah, you are the most high God, Jehovah, you are the most high God. The one we have come to meet with this morning, the one that is the reason why we are here this morning is the most high. And as the most high, I want you to lift up your voice and appreciate him for who he is. The most high God. Uh, he's not only the most high God, he is our father. Why not lift up your voice and begin to magnify him this morning? Oh, for being our God, for being our deliverer, for being the most high God, he is greater than the greatest, higher than the highest. Lakunda and Obosh and Abaf Ilahataya, Manto Kanto Palakasi Kalimasia. Thank you, everlasting Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we have given prayers. I want us to cry to the Almighty God for mercy this morning. Brethren, the Bible says that it's not of he that will hear, nor he that runneth, but of God that showeth mercy. Ah, we'll cry to God and say, My Father, my God. Ah, my Father, ah, my God. Ah, please show me mercy once again this morning. Ah, Baba, I know that it's not by he that runneth or he that willeth, but of you. Ah, that it is of you, Lord, that showeth mercy. Ah, that they show me your mercy this morning. Show my household your mercy this morning. Show my loved ones your mercy this morning. Lord, Lord, show me mercy. Mando makando kashakapa. Likekekakuta kapasile palahataya. Show me your mercy, Lord. Thank you, everlasting Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. The Almighty God will show us mercy in Jesus' name. Let's turn our Bibles to the book of Isaiah chapter 54. Isaiah chapter 54. Verse 3 to 4. Isaiah chapter 54. If 
If you are here, shout hallelujah. That hallelujah is on one leg. If you are here, shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It says, Isaiah chapter 54 verse 3 and 4, it says, For thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left, and thy seed shall inherit the Gentiles, and make the desolate cities to be inhabit inhabited. Fear not, for thou shalt not be ashamed. Fear not, for thou shalt not be ashamed. Neither be thou confounded. For thou shalt not be put to shame. For thou shalt forget the shame of thy youth. And shalt not remember the reproach of thy widowhood anymore. If you are the one that God is talking about, let your hallelujah be the loudest. Let's lift up our voice. Lift up our hands and just begin to magnify him. The Bible says that the love I wish above all things that thou prosperest and be in heart even as thy soul prospered. Brethren, the desire of God concerning you and me is that of prosperity. His desire concerning you is that things will work for you. His desire concerning you is that you will reign in life, that you will have dominion. And that is why I want you to lift up your hands and begin to appreciate him for all his good and wonderful desire uh, that he has concerning us. The Bible says he sent his word and his word healed us and delivered us from all our destruction. Just lift up your hands and just bless him for the word he has sent to us this morning in Isaiah chapter 54 verse 3 and 4. Just magnify him. That the time Thank you, brethren, that the word has been sent uh, is the first step. That is to tell you that God is mindful of you. God is mindful of me. That the once again we say thank you. Uh, for in Jesus' mighty name we have given time. For you will spread out to the right and to the left. You will cry to the almighty God. His plan for you and for me is to enlarge our goal. That you will spread. That you will not be limited. Uh, that your life will not be restricted. Uh, but you will spread to the left. You will spread to the right. Cry to the almighty God and say, Father... Father, whatsoever that will not allow me to spread to the right and to the left, whatsoever that will not allow my cause to be alive, Father, please deal with them this morning. Cry to the Almighty God. You have come to Mount Zion, the place of deliverance. You have come to Mount Zion, the place of enforcement. Ah, for upon Mount Zion, ah, my people shall possess possess their possession. I cry to the almighty God that anything that will not allow your cause to be alive, anything restricting you to the left, anything restricting you to the right, I let the almighty God utterly destroy them this morning. Run to Kassantapala. Rain mahan de mosque and rimahan de kasilaya. Lipa lipa landa handa yapa. Rikando mafin de rimahan de kasilaya. In the Hadaya, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. We are still on Isaiah chapter 54, verse 3, and it says, It says, And thy seed shall inherit the Gentiles. Amplified version puts it this way: it puts it, and your descendants will take possession of nations possession of nation meaning that your children wherever they go to they will have dominion ah, because they will take possession you will cry to God and say father father 
my seed will not be desolate. Ah, my seed will not be desolate. Ah, they will take possession of nature. Cry to the Almighty God that wherever your children are, they will be in charge. They will have dominion. Ah, they will not be desolate. Ah, they will take possession. Ah, they will not be desolate. Manda Kapalaya, that the wherever I go to, wherever my children go to, Lord, they will not be desolate. Ah, they will take possession. Ah, uh, they will inherit. Ah, uh, they will inherit nations. Ah, uh, they will inherit uh, nations. They will inherit men. Makusun to Roma shanta bahanda ya. Rakande rimos inder mahanda kaya. La pa 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 pa. Le kando mashander mahanda kisila ya. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Ah, the Bible says, And thy seed shall inherit the Gentiles, and make the desolate cities to be inhabited. Meaning that even where they are saying that men cannot inhabit, when your seed comes there, that land must flourish. Ah, when your seed, even a land has been caused because your children are there, ah, that land must prosper. You will cry to God and say, Father, Father, for, the, for your name's sake, wherever my children are, Wherever my seed are, ah, let the land be blessed. Let the land become blessed. Let the land not be desolate. Let the land be habitable. Cry to the Almighty God. The fact that your children ah, step their foot on that land, ah, let the spiritual atmosphere change. Ah, let the climatic atmosphere change. Cry to the Almighty God. Ah, it is the word word of God. The word of God cannot be broken. Ah, as you are praying for your children, ah, be praying for yourself. That wherever the soul of your foot shall tread on, ah, for your sake, let that land become fruitful. For your sake, let that land become fruitful. Let it, become, let it begin to yield abundantly. Makusundoroba. Rekunder Mahana Makundo Kosike Lehanaya Aye Kandoha Lekalemos in the Mahanaya. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Verse 4, Isaiah 54, verse 4, uh, engineers. Fear not. I don't know who God is talking to this morning. Maybe fear. You have been under the torment of fear. This morning, the Almighty God will break uh, the yoke over your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Fear not, for thou shalt not be ashamed, neither be thou confounded, for thou shalt not be put to shame. Uh, brethren, there is a key word here fear not. Fear not. Why must I not be afraid? Because I will not be put to shame. You are going to cry to God and say, Father, according to your word, every arrow of shame ah, shot at me, targeted at me, ah, let them backfire. Cry to the Almighty God. Every arrow that will be released from whatsoever quarter ah, to put you to shame, ah, to put you to shame, ah, ah, to cause men to ask you, Where is your God? Ah, let them backfire in the name of Jesus. Every power, ah, 
trying to put you to shame. Ah, let the Almighty God disgrace them this morning. Ah, that every arrow of shame shot from whatsoever quarter. Ah, targeted at me, my wife, my children. Targeted at my ministry. Targeted at my career, my business. Targeted at that that concerns me. Baba, let them all come to naught. Frustrate them. Frustrate them. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. You are going to cry to the Almighty God. The Bible says, Thou shalt not be ashamed, neither be thou confounded. To be confounded means uh, to be confused. To be confused. Brother, many are confused. Uh, concerning, you know, the happenings these days, many are confused. You are going to cry to the Almighty God that for every arrow of confusion that the enemy sends you, is sending your way, uh, let the Almighty God give you sound mind. Brethren, when your mind is sound, your decisions will be sound. Uh, when your mind is not clouded, Ah, uh, you will not make mistakes. Cry to the Almighty God and say, Father, ah, uh, every arrow of confusion ah uh, targeted at me and my household. Ah, uh, Daddy, I exchange them. Father, exchange them with sound mind for us. Exchange them with sound mind, sound mind, sound mind. Rako sikafala hadaya. Ah, uh, with sound mind, sound mind. Ripo sile hande moskila hadaya. Oh, sound my Lord. Ah, For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. I decree in the name that is above every other name. Ah, that you will not be disgraced. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, every gang up uh, to disgrace you uh, at the corridor of your glory, at the corridor you know, of your promotion, uh, let the Almighty God silence them. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will cry lastly and say, Father, Father, every reproach. I've ever suffered. Ah, that blessing. Ah, that will wipe away that reproach. Ah, brother, let, let, let me explain so that you will pray this prayer very well. Brother, you know, I tell, I, I tell people that it is your situation. How bad your situation is. Eh? How bad it is. Is what will tell how great your testimony will be when God turns around your captivity. So when God is saying, thou shalt not remember the reproach of thy widowhood anymore, God is trying to say that he's going to do something in your life uh, that the impact of what he's going to do uh, will out, you know, will outweigh any reproach and disgrace you have ever had. You know, Oh, praise the Lord. We remember uh, uh, President Obasanjo. He was convicted. He was in prison. But after he left prison and he became the president, president is anybody talking about Obasanjo being in the prison? No. Why? You know, something great happened. Ah, that the reproach he suffered was forgotten. You are going to cry to God. That one thing that must happen to you, ah, to erase the memory of every reproach you have ever suffered. Let the Almighty God orchestrate it this morning. Cry to the Almighty God. That is that one thing that you must do. Ah, lep, ah, lep, ah, le, kando mahanda ya. Lord, I will erase the memory of all my reproaches. Rakupa lipa zika ya. That they orchestrated this body. Ah, cry to the Almighty God. Ramu masia kupasi la ya. Ah, thou shall remember. Ah, thou shall not remember the reproach of thy widowhood anymore. Ah, 
something must happen. God must give you beauty. Beauty, beauty that will replace those ashes. When the beauty replaces the ashes, there will be no traces of ashes again. Cry to the Almighty God. Let that thing happen today. For in Jesus mighty name we have prayed. I want you to understand something. When we say beauty for ashes, it implies that for your ashes, eh, beauty will substitute your ashes. It does not mean that you have ashes and God will not add beauty to the ashes. No, there must be a replacement. So what God is saying is that that which has been existing, uh, God is going to replace it with something new. Uh, that will be your portion this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, I decree in the name that is above every other name, uh, that every reproach we have ever suffered in this life, uh, that every shame uh, uh, that the enemy has ever uh, sent our way in this life. Uh, let the almighty God utterly erase them in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, because it has pleased the almighty God uh, to give us beautiful ashes. Uh, that they let there be no traces of our ashes anymore. Uh, let beauty completely uh, displace all our ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. And I decree that this day, as we walk into this day, into this weekend, that it let it be that anyone that will see us, ah, that it let them give God glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, that they, because they will see your hand upon our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, let this day be a glorious day. Ah, let this day be a blessed day for all. Ah, at every quarter, ah, we find ourselves today. Ah, let our head receive blessings in the mighty name of Jesus. And every evil planned for this day, every evil associated with this day, Father, keep them far away from us in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. For in Jesus precious name we have prayed let's lift up our hands as we take our confession for this morning I worship the almighty God the unquestionable and incomparable God forever his praise shall be in my mouth and I will bless the Lord at all times for his for him alone can kill and can make alive he can lift up he can bring down he can make poor he can make rich i declare and i confess concerning me and my household that our days of shame and reproach are over we shall never remember our shame anymore the Lord will cause our shame to be forgotten and he will usher us into our season of beauty for ashes. I declare and I confess that I will experience a, great, a greater glory. I am going higher. I am going higher because the Lord shall cause me to break forth on the right hand and on the left hand. And the Lord shall enlarge my coast. My coast shall be enlarged physically, spiritually, materially, financially, professionally, and ministerially. I declare and I decree that every power and forces assigned to enforce reproach and shame in my life, every power and forces assigned to enforce reproach and shame in my life shall be destroyed and consumed totally 
My God is stronger than all my enemies. Therefore, my victory is certain, and I shall be lifted for the rest of my life. I will finish well. I will finish strong. My ending shall be far better than my beginning. I will not go to her. I will reign in eternity. I will love the Lord. And I will serve the Lord all the days of my life in Jesus' name. Let's go ahead and pray in the Holy Ghost in the next one minute. La Copa Lima Handaya. Rekandur Mahashek Abalaha. Leka Kapale Mahande Moshanda Bahataya. Rekandu Hande Moskala Hande Moskilaha. Rakako Bazek and the Hande Moshila Halaya. In the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. I decree in the name that is above every other name. Ah, that your point, all that you have declared this morning. Ah, that the Almighty God will turn them to praise point. Ah, because you will remember your declaration and you will give God praise. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, and it does not matter where the power is located. It does not matter who ah, that is trying to interfere with your declaration this morning. Ah, let the Almighty God utterly destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, all throughout today, you will eat the fruit of your confession. Ah, all throughout today, you will see the manifestation of that which you have confessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you everlasting Father, for in Jesus mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Let's put our hands together as we celebrate Jesus and we have our seat in his presence. You are all welcome. God bless you. Praise the Lord. I want to appreciate the almighty God once again for this privilege to be uh, to mount this exalted altar and my prayer is that the almighty God you know, will have his way this morning in the mighty name of Jesus and all our desires according to his will, he will fulfill in the mighty name of Jesus. I appreciate my Father and the Lord who is unavoidably absent this morning and I pray that the Almighty God will continually honor him in the mighty name of Jesus. I appreciate each and every one of us with the little time I have. Let's turn our Bibles to Joel chapter 2. Joel chapter 2 from verse is a long one because of our time. I don't know if I'll be able to read it. Joel chapter 2 verse 17 to 32. Praise the Lord. The topic once again is beauty for ashes. And I know that God is about to change the story of some world in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, beauty for ashes is a change of story. Praise the Lord. It's a change of story. I want you to turn to your neighbor and tell him or her that my story must change. Ah, my story must change. So shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. Joel chapter 2 verse 17 says, Let the priest and the minister of the Lord weep between the porch and the altar, and let them say, Spare thy people, O Lord, and give not thy heritage to reproach, that the hidden shall not rule over them. Wherefore, should they say among the people, Where is their God? Our God will not allow you to find yourself in a situation that will empower your enemy to ask you, Where is your God? In the mighty name of Jesus, then will the Lord be jealous for his land and pity his people. The Almighty God will jealous for you and he will show you pity in the mighty name of Jesus. Yea, the Lord will answer and say unto his people, Behold, I will send you corn. Nobody is saying amen. And wine and oil, and ye shall be satisfied therewith. And I will be no more, I will no more make you a reproach among the headed. But I will remove far off from you the southern army. And I will drive him into a land barren and desolate. With his face towards the east sea. And his hinder part towards the utmost sea. And his stink shall come up. And his ill savour shall come up. Because he had done great things. Fear not, O land. 
be glad and rejoice for the Lord will do great things. Uh, I don't know who God is talking about, but I know he's talking about me. Praise the Lord. Be not afraid, ye beast of the field, for the pasture of the wilderness do spring, for the tree beareth her fruit, and the fig tree and the vine do yield their strength. Be glad. Then, ye children of Zion, is someone glad this morning? Is someone rejoicing this morning? And rejoice in the Lord your God, for he had given you the former rain moderately, and he shall cause to come down for you the rain, the former and the latter rain in the first month. But the floors shall be full of weeds. Someone will experience a change of story. The floor, the floor shall be full of weeds. And the fat shall overflow with the wine and oil. And I will restore to him the years that the locusts had eaten. The canker worm and the caterpillars. The palmer worm, my great army, which I sent among you. And ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God that had dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. I don't know who God is talking about this morning. Uh, but that is a word of prophecy for someone. Uh, because God is turning your ashes to beauty. In the mighty name of Jesus. Verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. And that I am the Lord your God. And none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see vision. And also upon the servants, upon the, head, the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. And I will show wonders in the heaven and in the earth blood and fire and pillar of smoke and the sun shall turn into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and the terrible day of the lord before the great and terrible day of the lord come and it shall come to pass that whatsoever that whosoever shall call on the name of the lord shall be delivered for in man zion and jerusalem shall be delivered as the lord had said and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. Let someone shout hallelujah. Because of our time, I may not go too deep into our text, but let me, I, let me just share something that you know you will not forget today. Praise the Lord. Ashes, most of the times, can be a setup for your promotion. Ashes. The one that has headache. Eh? And the headache leaves. When it's time for t uh, testimony, the person may not even remember that anything happened. Praise the Lord. But the one that have been running to the toilet, purging, and uh, frequently, when it's time for testimony, ah, he will come out and uh, praise God. Why? What he experienced, the kind of experience he had, has made him to realize that the healing he has received eh, is not by power. It's not by might. Praise the Lord. So ashes most of the times can be a set up for a promotion. God can decide to leave the enemy win a battle. But in the end God himself will win the war for you. Praise the Lord. You know, in every war, there are different battles. You can win a battle and you will lose the war. It implies that you lost out. But you can lose a battle. But at the end, you win the war. Losing a battle can be a strategy for you to win a war. Praise the Lord. Beautiful ashes is a statement that implies hope. It is a statement that gives hope. Why? Because God is the one involved. God is saying I will give you beauty for ashes. 
brethren, it is not a man that was speaking in Isaiah 61 verse 3. I will give you beauty for ashes. It is a statement of hope. God wants you to know that it does not matter how bad your situation is. If only you can hope and trust in him, it can change. Praise the Lord. I have seen situations change. In this life, I've seen situations that men have written on. And God changes those situations. I have seen God where men have put full stop. And God decides to erase the full stop and continue the story. He can change your hopelessness for hope. Praise the Lord. In John chapter 5, verse 3 to 8, the impotent man, the story of that man was pathetic. 38 years on a particular spot. What was that man waiting for? He was waiting for his ashes to be turned to beauty. He remained here waiting for his change to come. I decree to someone this morning ah, that yes, you have been waiting for so long. God has not forgotten you. Your change, that desire change will come in the mighty name of Jesus. That man never waited in vain. Why? Because the one that gives beauty for ashes appeared himself. The man was waiting for an angel to come and stare. Meaning that for that man, he had a mindset. He had he have zeroed his mind that it is only in this pool that my healing will come from. But the one that created all things decided to move in another way. Maybe you have been waiting here. Maybe your eyes have been in a particular area. But God is saying this morning that he can reach you through any other man. Uh, and just like the impotent man, uh, the almighty God uh, will come to your rescue in the mighty name of Jesus. Brethren, it does not matter how hopeless the situation is. We have a God that is capable of changing it. In the book of Ezekiel, chapter 37, 1 to 15, God took Ezekiel to the valley of the dry bones. God is not talking about bones. You know, maybe those that have been dead, maybe, you know, those that just died, a corpse. No, these are dry bones. No flesh, nothing, bones. What other situation can be as helpless as we are bones? Not just one bone. Different bones are gathered. And God asks him a question. Can these live? Can these live? <clears throat> just to tell you how hopelessness that situation was. Ezekiel looked at him and said, Lord, you know it. He looked at it. And his faith will not carry it. He just told God, God, now you know, now you know, praise the Lord. Maybe that is your situation. You have heard the word that in your ashes will be turned to beauty. But you looked at it and said, ah, Pastor, now you know, I'm here to declare to you that it is still possible. Ah, concerning that desire, it is still possible. Ah, and the Almighty God will arise for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to be upstanding. We don't have time. We don't have time. Just be upstanding and cry to God. Father, ah, Father, ah, Lord, remember me. Ah, and turn my hopelessness. Ah, turn my hopelessness around. Every situation that seems hopeless in my life. Ah, consigning me. Father, turn it, Lord. Turn it around. Turn it around. Turn it around. Give me beauty. Ah, Lord, let beauty come out of that situation. Ah, let beauty come out of that situation. Ah, cry to the Almighty God. Brethren, it does not matter how bad, bad the situation is. Cry to God. Father, let something good come out of my situation.
situation. Let something good come out of my life. Cry to the Almighty God for the important man. Ah, his situation turned around. Ah, he never remained where he used to be again. Ah, cry to the Almighty God. Father, change my story. His story changed from the man that was seated on the pool ah, to the one that received his healing. Cry to God. Father, change my story this morning. Thank you, everlasting Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. I decree in the name that is above every other year. Ah, that the Almighty God will change our story. Ah, every story that is bringing us shame. Ah, every story that has been a reproach. Ah, every story that you desire to just vanish away. Ah, the Almighty God will turn them around. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, that story that have not allowed you to raise up your head. Ah, that story that have bowed down your head. Ah, let the Almighty God change them this morning. Ah, let the Almighty God give you beauty for that story in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. Thank you, the Most High God. Ah, we are men have been seeing you. We are men expect that you will continually be. I decree in the name that is above every other name that after now, ah, when they come there, they will not find you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. Ah, glory be to his holy name. Ah, let's lift up our offering. Let's lift up our offering. Daddy, once again, we say thank you. Ah, Daddy, every shame, every reproach associated with our finances, Daddy, by reason of this offering, wipe them away. Ah, Daddy, wipe them away. Beautify our finances. Ah, Daddy, move us from where we are to the League of Millionaires. Thank you, everlasting Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. God can also move us from where we are to the league of billionaires. In Jesus' name, let's drop our offering. And God bless us in the mighty name of Jesus. Before we share the grace, let's be mindful of the fact that today is Holy Ghost service. All road leads to the redemption camp. The bus will be leaving. You need to come on time if you want to join the bus. The team for this month's Holy Ghost service is the all-sufficient God. Praise the Lord. And I believe and I know that he's going to meet our needs in the mighty name of Jesus. On Sunday, we'll be having three services. So please, let's invite, you know, others. And our mommy, Mommy Oyuso, will be here in the house. Invite as many that you love to be blessed. And God will bless us in Jesus' name. The grace, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen.